Don't you love it when you have something planned you want to do for the day? Get something done, accomplish the task, and just do that for the day. And then something unexpected comes up and happens, and you got to tackle that first. You got to do those, those things first. So that's kind of what happened today. And it's always so annoying when that happens, but it's one of those things like, oh, you got to do it now. So, oh, unexpected debugging of stuff. Now I love trying to figure something out, trying to figure out how it works, how if there's an issue with it, like, oh, what's causing this? I have to figure out what is causing this here. So let me tell you the situation and it was just really, really crazy. So I had noticed on my website, automassado.com, I have my posts scheduled to go out, you know, at in the morning. And I noticed earlier in the week and then today with the posts that went out, they weren't I had scheduled them, but they never posted. I'm like, why aren't they posting? Like, what is going on here? Like, why, why has it stopped posting? So it was just very, very strange to me. Like, why is it doing this? So I couldn't really figure out the answer. I was just like, okay, there has to be something that's causing this, whether it be some sort of plugin that I have enabled, maybe the uh, web host, because there was like an update with one of the plugins like the day that it happened I was just trying all these different things and it's like nothing and then I actually finally identified it I, I installed this other plugin to monitor all these routine tasks that get scheduled that run on a schedule rather nothing that I really set up it's just all how the the functionality of the website works so these things work in the background and there are scheduled tasks and they run every minute, five minutes, half hour, whatever the duration is, okay? So I'm sitting there looking through this here and I'm and it's saying that it can't connect to the to the scheduler thing. And I'm just like, what the heck is this? And it said it could be blocked by some sort of firewall or some sort of other thing. So I'm like, okay, okay, let's see. Because I have on my site a, essentially like, like a, I guess like a firewall you could call it, but it's not really not, that's really not the correct term for what it is, but it, it helps secure the website and it helps cache it and all that sort of stuff. So I'm looking at that. So I decide to pause it on, on the site and I give it a few minutes and I'm looking like, oh, look, it works now. It works. Isn't that bizarre? Isn't that strange? Isn't that interesting? Hmm. So I'm just like, why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? Now, this had happened to a friend of mine one time when they try to access my site. It it detected them as a bot. Like, you know, not an actual person, like like a bot, and it blocked them. It blocked them. Like they had to fill in a captcha. And no matter what they did, it just would not allow them to go into the website. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? I'm just continuously load. Actually, I don't even know if it did. I think it did ask for a capture and then once it filled out, it just continuously loaded. Like it just wouldn't allow them through. But I'm like, okay, that was a different website, but it's still the same exact problem. So that's what ended up actually happening. It was my own website was blocking my own website. <laughs> Essentially what was happening It's like, okay. So you're blocking your own traffic to your own stuff here. That's essentially what was happening, which is why these all these tasks were being blocked. And I'm just like, took it, you know, I didn't really mess with it too much this morning. I, I started to maybe around, you know, I forget exactly the time, but, you know, I'm just doing a few other things. And then that's when I figure it out and identify it. And it's about two hours that I'm kind of working on trying to figure out what the issue is. And it's like, okay, I finally managed to, get it working and to, you know, buy bypass that, but it's like, oh my goodness. You wanna block my own stuff? I don't know. I don't know. It's just those 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 sort of things, it's like when you're de debugging them, it's it is a lot of fun, but also frustrating because the amount of the a sense of accomplishment that you feel when you debug it is is really, really good. It really is. Because 
you finally feel as though, oh, you finally got it done. You finally figured out what the problem was and you figured it out, you did it, and then it works. It works as it is intended to work and it's all good. And it's like, oh, look at that. Oh, look, look at that. And then, and then things run better than they did, did, did before or whatever. But yeah, it's just so fascinating. It's like, I don't know what caused this. It just, it had been working for years years and then suddenly oh what does what is going to what is going to block it's like okay go ahead and block my own website I, I i don't understand that i don't so anyway that was all that was all so you all take care have a great one let me know what sort of things it just unexpectedly happened unexpectedly happened i had other things i wanted to, wanted to do i guess not really well i can do it now but still Anyway, you all take care of a great one, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.